Morning. 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 Finally. It's not raining in the UK. Finally. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So yeah, today we're on with the first mods for the MPS. Now, I just want to say I'm absolutely loving this car. I think it's so sick. Everything about it's great. Like the speed, the handling. I just think it's mint. The interior is like spot on. It's like sat in a living room. Yeah, I know there was a little bit of controversy in the uh, in the comments. Mostly positive, to be fair. But a couple of people just moaning, oh, I'm unsubscribing, blah, blah, blah. End of the day, it's a car. It's got four wheels and it moves. If you're that pathetic to unsubscribe because I've got a different car, then... Just shows you a very big fanboy. Anyway, we're on with the first mods today. Oh man, look how good she looks. So sick, man. We're on with the first mods today, and uh, here's a clue. So first things first, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Max and Designs for sending these out for me. Absolute legends down there. I was going to go pick them up, but they just wanted to get them to me as soon as possible. Uh, so they sent them out, literally ordered them yesterday, and they came today. So yeah, big thank you to Max and Designs. You can actually use my code on the screen and get a discount with Max and Designs. They told me yesterday that 99 people that watch my videos have used my discount code, which is amazing, hence why they can afford to send me out stuff like this to make videos on, and obviously you guys get a nice little discount. So, yeah, if you do shop with Max and Design, make sure you use my code. Just want to send another big massive thank you to Max and Designs for, uh, for sending these out. Let's open them, and I'll show you what I've got. So, we have got a front splitter for the MPS, and we've got a little spoiler extension. Now, one thing about the EP3 is I've missed the little spoiler extensions that you can buy. Max and Designs did one, but I don't think it really suited the, uh, the, the, the OEM spoiler of the EP3, but, but I really do think this is going to look sick on the back of the Mazda. Um, I'm not sure which one I'll do first. I feel like the split is going to stress me out because I'm not looking forward... One thing I'll give Honda is everything was really easy to work on. Doesn't doesn't really seem the case with the Mazda. It looks a little bit more complicated. But we're going to give it a go. I'm going to take the bumper off. I think we're going to do the splitter first. Because I know that if the splitter stresses me out, I've still got the spoiler extension. So we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Okay, right. I'm going to crack on and try and, get the, try and get the bumper off. And yes, this is my first time working on a Mazda. So all the Mazda owners, please chill in the comments you probably think it's dead obvious but i'm blonde all right under here i'm blonde also i don't know if you can hear in the background that stupid house alarm it's been going on for three hours now and i'm gonna rip it off the bastard wall if it carries on just thought i'd mention that hello right let's get the offer to get out i'm going to assume these bolts here these screws here the grill comes out kind of thing then i'm assuming there's going to be Oh, I'm not taking the wheels off. I'll just turn the wheel. Uh, bolts here, bolt there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess there's going to be bolts underneath as well. So I might have to actually jack the car up. But okay, it seems uh, seems pretty pretty simple. Let's give it a go. Not even 100% sure if I have to take these out. I think I just had to undo them. But for anyone asking about the bonnet scoop. Saw a lot of comments saying, why don't you get another bonnet for the bonnet scoop, for the intercooler, blah, blah, blah. Because the intercooler sits on the top in these. Um, it actually, the air comes up the grill and straight into the bonnet. Um, I am going to try and speak to a company about sorting me out a front mount intercooler. So I expect to see a video on that. Whoa. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get that intercooler taken off and I want one down there, uh, which will look very, very nice. But yeah, I've got them bolts out. I'm going to, uh, I might have to jack the car up. I'm not sure, but... I'm going to turn the wheel, so I thought I'll give you all a cheeky little cold start for the boys. Let's do it. It is definitely the best sounding car I've ever owned, 100%. Yeah, got to be honest sounds absolutely unreal on a cold start took all the bolts off from underneath under the uh, behind the wheel liner you just pull that back and there's one little bolt about there take that out all eight mil bolts pretty simple um, and then I think I'm ready to just just like pull the bumper I hope I'm just gonna do one of them things where I'm just gonna pull and if there's resistance I'm gonna unbolt the resistance so 
I just want a t I just want a nice day of installing this splitter. I don't want no problems, and so far it's going really well. So I've just jinxed myself. I'll play this back further down the video, and when I get stressed out and pissed off. But yeah, I'm going to pull the bumper, out and hopefully it comes off. Like What an absolute joke. So many little nuts and bolts and stuff that need to be unplugged. This needs to, really easy, unplug that, but no, Mazda, that's put a stupid little clip that connects to that, oh, don't even get me started, but we're off, which is the main thing. Now, where do I put it? Oh, so, literally, all it is a matter of is getting this little black flappy trim off and the stupid plastic clips are being really stubborn and I can't get them off. Well, I'm getting there slowly. I'm just having to cut them off. And there's these stupid, I don't know if you can see in there, they're like, almost like pop rivets or something. They need to come off, so they're being really stubborn. So I'm just cutting them all off. But as soon as we get this plastic little bumper guard off, we can start getting the splitter on wherever that is. So we're getting there, boys. It's just a bit of a joke. And they always say, you're not fully mated with your car until it makes you bleed. So <laughs> I'm officially an owner of a Mazda 3 MPS now. Great, fucking love it. Here he is now, boss man's on the job. Yeah, I have spat me dummy out. I said we're gonna have a nice, nice relaxing day. Then that house alarm started going off. Then I cut my finger. It's just become a bit of a joke. So he's just gonna drill them out for me. I didn't think of that, but it's probably easier. Are these plastic come out? Plastic. Hey? Uh, plastic. They're plucked, they're not, they're aluminium. Oh, sorry, no, 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 the metal, the, the white ones are metal. You've got the crappiest bird to apply. I've got a bag full of snap on pliers, and you've got the cheap. Hey, here. stop mouthing off. We're having a nice day today. So, that shitty hat I've been wearing all morning, Dad's just tipped the box out. Max and Designs have sent me this bad boy in a little bag of, of goodies. So, what absolute legends. Look at that, boys. <laughs> I mean, up's going to be even warmer. Right, Dad just made light work of that. That's off. This time I'm actually going to take the plastic um, trim off because with the EP3 I left the plastic cover on and it looked stupid. So, no, oh, never mind. So this time I'm going to take that off. But yeah, we're going to line it up, aren't we, Dad? You having fun? <laughs> we're going to take it off and uh, line it up, nut and bottle it to the car, and then we're done. Bumper back on. <laughs> right, so we're on. Well, I'm not fully on, but. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that does look quite aggressive, doesn't it? I like that. Yeah, that's better. <whistles> we'll just pop rivet it on. That's quite sexual. Well, who goes far as that? I'd fuck it. They took most of the impact, it's good. Oh, my mic's come off. All good. Bit of good news while we're at it. My retention slips just came from my red so we can put J3 SE on the on the MPS today. So it's gonna look quite good after this video, isn't it, Dad? Yes, it is, son. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <Bell end. laughs> we're all on. We're all at oh, it does look really good that. That's it. Drill's back on. Everything's back on. Now it's just time to get the uh, get the bumper back on. That looks good, that one, actually. It's going to look nice with the spoiler extension as well. Right, let's get the bumper back on. So the splitter's on. That looks absolutely amazing. I'm not going to show you until we put the uh, the spoiler extension on. Had a little bit of a dilemma. I had all the bolts, all the little plastic nuts for this part. All the plastic nuts and screws and little bits for this part in a box. 
No, English weather, the wind sent the box flying, so we, we spent the last hour trying to look for the bolts and stuff on the floor. We managed to find them, the only ones that are missing is that one and that one, which ain't the end of the world. Dad's just trying to sort something out there. Apart from that, it looks sick, it looks sick. It really does look good. And the reg is going on as well in a minute, so we've took the, uh, we've took the back red off ready for J3 ESE to go on. Uh, I've ordered a Batman style M for the Mazda badge, but in the end I'm actually gonna get my stepsister to uh, take the badges off and fill the little holes in behind the badges. So that's getting debadged, that's getting debadged, and I'll probably end up debadging the MPS badge as well. Just, I don't know, I think I just like the clean, smoothed off boot look, but- That ain't going on. You are? That ain't going on. Not working? Oh, screw it. Yeah, so that's kind of the, uh, the thought or process for the boot. Right. Next step is to get the uh, spoiler extension on, which is pretty simple. It's literally just a uh, just a stick-on item, like so. You got some 3M tape there. Take that off, line it up, stick it on. Right, so we'll just uh, put it on, lined it up, and you're going to go for it, yeah? Well, we are. Are we? Well, I've got all the camera. Oh, look at you being all professional about it. Have you done this before, Father? Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh. Gone for it. <laughs> that does look quite good, actually. Can we, can we uh, take the protective film off? Sick man. Yeah, that looks well good. Set that sticker off there. Actually, no, I'll just leave that one. Yeah, right. That looks sick. That's proper tied the front end off, hasn't it? Uh, the back end, sorry. This is the rear. This is the rear. Yeah, that looks evil. I like that. We're just packing up. Just tidying the garage away. I'm going to take it to a little location. Show you the splitter and get some cinematic shots of it. But oh, it looks so aggressive now from the front. I did say when I put the uh, the splitter on the EP3 that my next car is going to be one of the first things I want to do, and obviously it is the first thing. But obviously this spoiler extension as well just looks so much better. It's just finished the back off really nice. We've got the plates on as well, so she's got a, had a bit of a had a bit of a treat today, a bit of a transformation. But yeah, I'll go take it to a location and uh, show you the front splitter. So yeah, here is what it looks like now. As you can see, splitter looks awesome. It just finishes off the front end. I said before in the video that uh, when I put the splitter on the EP3, it was one of the things that I couldn't kind of live without and wouldn't want to live without on my next car. So literally the first thing we've done and oh my God, it looks awesome, man. Really, really happy with that. Um, I'm actually getting a new front red. I know that one's not very legal, so to say, uh, but that's the only one I've had. Once again, massive shout out to Max the Designs for this. Back looks amazing as well. Just finishes that off. Uh, like I said, they are going to send me a couple more parts, the rear spats and the side skirts once uh, they get a bit more, obviously, feedback from the videos that I'm doing for them. Something sounds alright. But yeah, spoiler extension looks awesome. Really, really happy with that. But yeah, once again, if you do want to purchase anything from Maxton Designs, please remember, use my code, you get yourself a nice little bit of discount. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Finished. Come on.